By staying together, we've seen people inspired in marvelous ways. I got this letter a few days ago. It, the letter says, Reverend Barbara, I know you get a lot of mail from a lot of people. You have no reason to remember me. Therefore, I thought that this picture might help. I'm the bald woman on the oxygen machine. However, I have fond memories of you and the, and the, and the work of Marl Monday because you all have made a profound impression on me last summer. So much so that I decided to practice civil disobedience. And I want to thank the movement for that. During this post-election season, I've marveled at the ability of the movement to maintain hope for a better world. I know there are times you must get discouraged. I know I do. Please know that you and the work and the work of the movement are making a difference. You are important and, and an example of the teachings of our Lord before long. I'll be entering hospice care. And I probably won't see you again. But I'm grateful that I lived long enough to be a small part of the Moral Monday movement. And I take hope from the words of Dr. King that indeed in time, the moral arc of the universe will bend toward justice.